2025 Honda Odyssey, everything we know about the next minivan. Will Honda follow Toyota Sienna to a hybrid-only van future? Honda has hinted that its Odyssey minivan is getting an update likely an entire redesign for 2025, a move that will bring the aging people mover up to date with fresher competitors like the newest Toyota Sienna, Kia Carnival, and recently revised Chrysler Pacifica. The current Odyssey debuted some seven years ago, and has received only one major update since, for 2021. Refined and with excellent road manners it's a van that's actually decent to drive the Odyssey remains a solid choice, even placing second in our most recent four-way minivan comparison test, but the time has come for a fresh version. That change is being forced, in part, by the other Hondas that share the Odyssey's platform, several of which have already or are soon to switch to a new generation architecture. The 2023 Honda Pilot SUV was the first of those mechanical cousins to jump to a new chassis, the two-row Passport SUV is expected to do so soon, as will the Ridgeline pickup truck. To hybrid or not to hybrid? Another shove is coming from the rapid hybridification of the minivan segment. The Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid, which is actually a plug-in hybrid capable of some 30 miles of EV-only range, used to be the only gas-electric van you could buy, then Toyota made its latest Sienna Hybrid only, no plug-in option, though, and the recently unveiled 2025 Kia Carnival also makes the switch to a hybrid powertrain. With Honda foisting hybrids on Accord and Civic buyers the automaker has made it so the majority of both cars' lineups are only available with hybrid power it seems entirely possible it'll do the same with the Odyssey. Replacing the current van's 3.5-liter V6? Look for the same 2.0-liter i4 and dual-motor hybrid system from the Accord Hybrid, CRV Hybrid, and, in detuned form, the 2025 Civic Sedan and Hatchback Sport Hybrids. In its beefiest form yet, the hybrid powertrain delivers 204 HP and 247 lbft of torque. That horsepower figure falls short of the current Odyssey's 280 ponies, but the torque number isn't far off the V6 262 lbft, which also peaks at a highish 4,700 rpm. Honda's hybrid system is rather novel, compared to those from other automakers, particularly Toyota. Instead of blending power from the motors and gas engine together in a planetary-type continuously variable automatic transmission, CVT, like Toyota does, Honda instead uses a large electric drive motor to handle most acceleration duties. The gas engine runs in the background as, essentially, a generator, the second of the two motors is a motor-slash-generator, which is spun by the engine to power the primary electric drive motor, at least until higher speeds, when the gas engine can be clutched into the driveline, delivering power to the wheels via a single-speed transmission. This results in a torquey low-speed driving feel closer to that of an EV, albeit with an engine quietly running at the same time, rather than a gas engine assisted by an electric motor. Whether or not the Odyssey goes hybrid, Honda could play it safe as it has with the mechanically related Pilot and stick with the old V6, or offer both, one mystery is whether the Odyssey will again be front-wheel drive only, or offer all-wheel drive. Chrysler has introduced all-wheel drive on the Pacifica, only the gas version, the hybrids are front drive only, while Toyota has gone ham sandwich with an all-wheel drive option for its hybrid-only Sienna, which adds a third electric motor to drive the rear axle independently from the front. Technically, there should be no issue adding all-wheel drive to the Odyssey, after all, other Hondas using the same platform offer or come standard with mechanical all-wheel drive. But we'll have to wait and see whether Honda takes the plunge, as packaging both a battery and AWD could prove challenging. New Odyssey Design and Interior As you can see, we've rendered what the next-gen Odyssey could look like, using Honda's recently redesigned models to guide our speculative styling. Blending elements from the latest Accord, Pilot, and Civic, we're confident the 2025 Odyssey will take on a classier, more reserved appearance than the somewhat busy current model. The Accord pulled off a similar design simplification, and we're thinking Honda is going to keep its more rugged touches for SUVs and the next Ridgeline truck, 
meaning the minivan will continue with a more car-like appearance. Expect thin headlights flanking a hexagonal grille, full-width tail lights, minimalist detailing, and smoother flanks. The current Odyssey's lightning bolt side graphic will be toned down, though we suspect the drooping window line will carry over as a distinctive signature, it's graced the past two Odysseys, and there are only so many ways to skin a boxy minivan. Toyota, for its part, seems to have chosen violence when styling the latest Sienna, attempting to apply every flourish imaginable to that van's shell yet more reason Honda will probably go for a subtler aesthetic more in line with the Pacificas. Inside, the playbook is easy to guess, a digital gauge cluster and a large central touch screen set into a clean, simple dashboard highlighted by an elegant full-width air vent motif. This design launched on the 2022 Honda Civic before spreading to the HRV, CRV, pictured above, Accord, and New Pilot. Eventually, every Honda will wear it, the Odyssey included. We're not complaining, as this interior looks great and is very functional in every vehicle it's found in. It's also welcome, given the current Odyssey's somewhat fussy, button-tastic dashboard, and you can bet wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, along with Google built-in, on upper trims, will be part of the deal. Ditto Honda's cabin talk in-car intercom and cabin watch video monitoring systems for keeping tabs on, and yelling at, your kids in back. It's possible Honda brings back its folding magic seats from the defunct fit hatchback to replace the current Odyssey's magic slide second row chairs, which can't be folded into the floor like Chrysler's stow and go units, and therefore must be folded and removed entirely if you want to use your Honda for hauling big items. More versatile second row seats are among our only wish list items for a new Odyssey, although the old van's chairs make up for their lack of configurability by being super comfortable and movable side to side. Look for the new Honda Odyssey to debut sometime this year before going on sale by the end of 2024 or early in 2025.